Hi, Aaron. Hi, Pierre. It's so great to chat with you. Thank you so much. Hello. How you doing? Hey, how are you, man? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Uh, first of all, congratulations on the film. Uh, we all loved it here. Great. Um, the, cool. For you, Pierre, first of all, what excited you most about adapting Aaron's work? Well, I think Aaron's, uh, you know, in his book has, has been able to capture characters that were so colorful and throw, you know, even though every, you know, all this drawing is artistry and and it, the way he writes and the way, you know, those those fonts are laid out in the film is incredibly fun and cartoon to watch and very stylized. They were so, you know, lifelike, you know, you could see the depth of these characters, you could see their struggle, you could see what they want to do, what they want to achieve. And I think for me, it was amazing just to be to think that we could take, you know, uh, those characters really just it, it was obvious to just adapt them on screen, really, you know, because there was so much to, to mine out of these characters and their own struggles and their own, you know, path, you know, as bad guys turning into good guys. Um, and it was so relatable at the same time. You know, these but these characters have been pitied as bad. They've been, you know you know, raised or they grew up thinking they are bad without ever thinking anything different because everybody, everyone wants them to be bad. And and Mr. Wolf and the team decide to change. Uh, and obviously, it's a, you know, it's stepping out of your comfort zone, so it's not easy. But to me, that was so relatable. Um, it was so obvious. And on top of that, you know, Aaron uses all those, you know, cinematic references. Uh, and a lot of them were like, you know, he and I have the same taste, and it was like, oh my God, I can layer that in on top of everything. You know, it's a Scorsese, it's like, you know, it's the Coen brothers, it's like Tarantino, it's all of those movies that are slightly ad more adult, but we could just eventually, with a little bit of luck, a little bit of craft, kind of adapt them for children as well. And I think it all worked out so well, and we had so much fun to make this film, you know. Yeah, there's a real pop to the popped to the film that, that works so well. I, I had to explain to my seven-year-old what it means to go full Clooney, yeah. but uh, <laughs> I love that line. You know, that line was there from the very beginning. It's always been there. And then we, we, made, we made sure we kept it. <laughs> well, it, it's the film's a lot of fun. And, uh, and Aaron, I have to say, like, we were, we, we were familiar with the books, but my kids now are into the books uh, oh, because of the good. film. And, yeah. Yeah, yeah, that's been fun. They're they're really excited about them. You know, we he's they're working on the first one. They had to, had us buy the the next two so that you know we could get right in on them. Um, is, is there anything that that from this film? Because my understanding is, is this is a straight out adaptation of the first one. Uh, is there anything in this film that had to be left out that you hope can be explored in in future films? If oh, they, well, if they're ha well, the, the the book series there'll be twenty. There's twenty episodes ultimately. I've just finished episode eighteen. Um, the book is based loosely on the first four books, um, but it has an additional storyline that is brand new, the, sort of the heist element that runs through it, but it's, it's sort of peppered with moments, recognizable moments from the first four books. So kids who love the books can come to it, see things that they recognize and love, but be told a story that is, the film in many ways works as a prequel to the, to the book series because the, in the beginning of the first episode of the books, Mr. Wolf said, I'm, you know, we're going to go good. Um, this is the, the movie is the answer to why he gets to that point, you know, and um, uh, that, you know, it was very, a very natural progression from book to the page. And, and for the record, I adore the movie. I'm immensely proud of what the guys have done with it. And I'm, I'm not very good at lying with that kind of thing. I would be, I would just be, I would just be mysteriously not available for interviews. Uh, at this point, if I didn't love it as much as I do, I, I adore the film. Well, I, I really appreciate that. And uh, I see, I see we're out of time already. Oh, there's so many things I want to talk to you about, but it's, it's a beautiful yeah. film. It's a lot of fun. Uh, the animation is gorgeous. It was so unique. Thank so, um, thank you, thank you so I've much. I've been calling it edible. The edible. It, it looks, you just want to munch it. I just, that's, that's what I kept thinking when I saw it on the big screen. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's like, it's a water, it's like watercolor. It's CG. It's, it's a mix of so many different things. It's really interesting. Yeah. The, the so, point, the uh, congratulations. Point, thank you so much. The point was really to make something different, something fresh, something that, 
you know, just kind of like uh, open doors, you know, a little bit artistically, you know, for the CG, for the CG well, for the animated features, you know. Uh, it, it definitely succeeds. So thank you so much to you both and thank you so uh, much. Have a great Thanks, day. Man. Thank right. you. you too. Have a great day.